morning, our teacher here with you again, and uh, today I want to talk about that box that we had made out of two pieces of paper, remember a box with a lid, and just a very short lesson on how to, one idea for how to decorate it. Be sure to do your subscriptions, your likes, and your um, favorites, and leave a comment below if I'm not clear about anything. Also, down below you'll notice I'll have a link to this lesson on how to make the box. So this goes together with the lesson on how to make the box. Now, let me give you a close look at the way I'm decorating it. What I've done is include three different um, decorative elements. This little bird made out of shapes, stars, and circles. So I'm just going to go through a little bit on that. First of all, what I've done is make the lid of, the, of a box here up to this point so you'll remember that from the video and then these are the parts I'm going to decorate the top and the four sides now when I'm decorating it I want to use these three elements so we're going to need a little bit of practice on those three elements so what I'd like to do is have you try to draw that fun little bird and make it about as big as your thumbnail. So it's kind of small. And when you do that, and I'll make mine a little bigger here by way of demonstration, start with a shape like that. This is simply like a rectangle with a little diagonal there. Now I'm going to do the little neck part coming off the top. You'll see it comes up like that. Then, that little bird beak, that's a triangle coming off of the neck and split it down the middle. That's where he opens his mouth. Keep following. Now here's an interesting thing I like to do, I think looks good. Put the eyeball a little lower than you think you have to. So I put the eyeball right here, down a little lower on the head. So. Those are my first few steps. Now I want to do the wing kind of quickly. So when I do the wing here, it's going to be two kind of long triangles. So coming off the back, I have two long triangles. Now a little feather on the top of the wing. Kind of looks like an origami bird, but not really. Made up out of shapes good little shape lesson for younger students too. And now a little tail feather made out of two long triangles. And when I do the feet, it's the same thing. It's, well, some kids say it looks like a letter W down here. Or just think of it as two triangles. And then for the foot, an additional two triangles. So what I've done there is assemble those um, 12 or 15 shapes around there into a simple uh, origami bird or a bird made out of shapes. Now when I do those star elements, I'm not going to do that kind. No, no, no. So I would, no, 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 no. Don't do that kind of star. Instead, I want to do five triangles with no base. So it's like that. And they don't have to be perfect. I think the handmade quality with imperfections is actually uh, beneficial, is a beneficial decorative element to, uh, to this decorative pattern. So I want you to practice 10 of those. You have to practice 10 of these before you can do it right. So on a scratch paper, practice this type of star 10 times and then You'll be able to do them quickly like I am here and they'll still look good. Now you have to start, maybe start big like that and then get smaller to the size of your pinky fingernail. So I'd like you to be able to make little stars the size of your pinky fingernail, maybe even smaller, and um, try to get those stars so that you can do them quickly and they look good. And the other decorative element on my box, my other decorative element are these little circles. And those are simple little handmade circles, so they're not perfect. 
the idea is these don't have to be perfect. Don't you, you're trying not to make them look perfect. They have a nice little funky um, handmade quality to them. Now, those you have those three elements: the bird, the stars, and those small circles and make the circles kind of small as you saw in that box. You have those three elements you need to put them together. So, have your box lid like this. There are the four sides, one, two, three, four, and the top. And simply take that, set it flat, and start drawing some of those funny little birds exactly like I showed you. Now you might need to pause that video and practice those birds three or four times and be sure to practice those stars a few times also. You're not going to get those stars exactly right the first time. So try to get those, do ten of them before you actually uh, start decorating the lid of your box. And I'm going to just add a bunch of these cool looking little stars in some of these birds. And then include them. So, as you go, you continue with this sort of pattern, stars, birds, and small um, circles throughout, kind of spaced across the sides and the top lid. Once you finish making your drawing with these decorative elements on the top, simply take your box, as you saw in your uh, video about the box, you just put it together and assemble it. And that's going to be the lid of your box with a nice decorative uh, overall pattern that includes those three elements. Try it with these three elements that I'm showing you. They look good together. It just happens to come together well with those three elements. But then you can start coming up with your own little decorative elements that you can create an overall pattern with. It doesn't have to be mine necessarily, but this is a really good starting point for getting the feel for how to decorate something. Anyway, hope that was uh, helpful for you. Give it a try, it looks good. Let me give you another look at that so you get a feel for what I'm talking about. Okay, you guys take care.